Yo, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to modify Dying Light 2 player parameters and stuff or whatever. Let's say you want to change gravity, right? Let's manage browse local files. Right click on here. Uh, these two are useless unless you're doing shader stuff in Engine. So we're just gonna go here. Oh, oops. pH source work has a bunch of other stuff like assets, but uh, we're gonna ignore that. Um, this is going to be, I'm probably going to make more of these in the future for more complicated stuff. But um, for now, if you want to modify parameters, go to source. That is zeros where all the player code is contained. So um, you're going to need WinRAR and Notepad++ for this. So I'll leave links in, in the uh, description. Choose whatever you want here. Just hit OK. Uh, while we wait for this, um, I'm not going to say anything. Just that like, I'll probably make more of these the more I find out about modding and stuff. Uh, because I'm new to it myself. Uh, the example I'll be using is changing the amount of gravity in the game. There's a lot of different stuff in these archives, so I'll just wait. And it's done. Okay. So you want to open this. Then you want to open this. Okay. Make sure not to close this. Keep this open. Okay. Run. So there are a lot of different folders in here for a lot of different stuff. You can find a lot of um, different weird files like guns, which are it's probably like an animation and such. You can find a lot of. Um, Images in well not in, not in the packs themselves. You can find a lot of cut content, future content, and such. If you want to go through these, you can. But what we're looking for is the player or scripts in particular. Not these scripts. These are for um like st like st like visual stuff and whatnot. So we're gonna go to scripts. There's armor stuff. Debug socket damage if you want to modify that. But we're looking for player. Player. And then jumping and the jump parameter. So you want to right click, uh, extract to a specified folder. Or a specified folder, not a specified, sorry. It's a habit I built when I was younger. Younger. Only like a year or two ago that I realized the actual meaning. Uh, desktop or anything to be honest. You might want to make its own its own folder. You want to. You might want to make these their own folder. I'm just gonna extract it to the desktop. Let's go to desktop. That's shift click by the way to open a new window on anything. So here we have. What the fuck? This looks disgusting. Um. I don't know why it looks like this. I'm not gonna bother. Uh. So here we have jump parameters. We get, we have to open it with Notepad plus plus. And then here we have jump parameters. Right. We should probably look into um look at the jump parameters itself like this to see if it's what you're looking for before you actually do it but um this is what we're looking for so right now gravity is set on negative 100 and we're gonna put it on 150 the default is negative 2.5 but let's put it on negative yeah 150 and we're going to go over here, save. So this is the most important part right here. Importing it back in was a bit of a struggle for me, but it's, it's pretty easy. You don't have to be stupid. So go back to here where you originally found the file. Hit add. Go to wherever the file location for the new file is, which in my case is obviously the desktop. I extracted it to, to the desktop. Double click on the new one. And then here is the very most important part on update mode instead of having add and replace files click the drop down menu and select add and update files because if you do this then it'll just delete everything in the in the folder because in most folders there are a bunch of files this one only has a single one in most folders there will be a lot of them and uh, you don't want to delete all of them you just want to replace the specific one that you're replacing which in this case is jump parameters so click the drop down menu and then click add and update files and then click OK and now we can just wait. Okay, you can see here it's done. Uh, none of these files will show the modified tab unless you've modified the file. 
So for example, if I go into climbing, nothing here because I haven't touched these. Oops. Uh, but here there is. So that's how you know that like it works properly. So you want to hit yes here. Make sure you back up your data zero by the way in case you fuck something up like really badly. So we're gonna wait for this. And it's done. Okay, so it's modified as of recent. So now we can just close this. The fuck? Okay, yeah. It usually crashes. So yeah. So this is modified recently. Eleven o eleven o six eleven eleven o five. So we're gonna just drag this here <coughs> into our folder. By the way, we'll be making one on merging different packs because a lot of modders just say, oh, change the number, but that doesn't really work beyond like 10 or something or beyond nine. So as we can see, our data zero was modified at 11.04. Uh, so let's hit play and see what's different. Um, I think my game might not actually work how I want it to. So give me a second to troubleshoot while I wait for this to launch. Um, Okay, um, can you guys see this? Let me see. I do have reshade, by the way. I'll leave a link for my preset if you want it. Okay, let's hit continue and see what happens. Uh, I don't know why it's in windowed. I think it's because I have OBS open or something. I don't know. Battle song. Okay, cool. Uh, it's opening or loading. Alright, uh, dope. Let's see how gravity has changed. Yeah. Not much else to say beyond that, to be honest. Uh, there are certain things that have not been changed with gravity, such as double jumping. Let me show you guys. As you can see when I do that, they bring up here right down. But look at this. This is a different parameter for that. Uh, when I jump off something like this, it should just bring me down. Let's see if we can possibly climb here. Something uh, big. Yeah, this is a, this change is too substantial. You know, uh, it can affect stuff like that if you change the parameters properly. However, for this video, I have not changed them properly. Um, just to give you an idea of how to replace them. Uh, if you want to affect stuff like that, <clears throat> you're going to have to search around in the jumping parameters folder. Maybe even in different folders, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you get the general gist of it. Uh, I found, or I'll make this a mod once I actually make it look good. But uh, yeah, that's the video. Uh, if you're seeing this now, then it did actually record my game properly. So let's exit out of this. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you uh, modify these folders. Thank you for watching. Uh...
That's just lagging. Whatever. I'll see you guys.